Hey everyone, this is Squid Vicious here with another Vicious video. I'm going to show you some information about the LifePod 2.0 Travel Humidor from vault -Tec. Probably the only humidor you're ever going to need uh, for travel, I should say. Um, I saw this actually on YouTube and I said, I got to get this thing and I want to try this thing out. Um, so what I wanted to show you, this is the 2.0 version. Um, this one actually has... <clears throat> The uh, combination that you can actually put a lock, a numerical lock on this thing. This also has biometrics in here. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you what this looks like here. So when you first get this thing, it actually comes with the, this cedar tray here. And this cedar tray you can actually take out. And at the top of this cedar tray, there is a Bluetooth module. And you'll go ahead and put a battery in here. And you do have an option of turning a Bluetooth on or off from um, inside this module here. Uh, I also put a couple cedar strips in here. But this actually came from a company called vault where they make a lot of safes for people to go ahead and maybe store valuables, maybe store a firearm, and you can use it for that. But somebody uh, obviously came up with the idea is, why don't we make a humidor out of it? And I thank them for that. So here's what I wanted to show you about this. This, again, is the 2.0 version. Uh, I think the 1.0 version had a gap up here for like a lighter. And the uh, cedar tray was uh, across, not up and down this way, where it only held about six sticks. Um, this one actually holds about eight sticks, and you can stack seven more on top for a total of 15. Uh, this actually has a strap here to go ahead and strap your sticks in here, which I'll show you momentarily. But again, it does have this Bluetooth module. We put a 9-volt battery in here, and you can turn on the Bluetooth, and we'll show you how to use the app for that. This also has a compartment up here for another 9-volt battery, which goes ahead and powers your security settings, whether you're using the biometrics or the, um, the numerical keypad. Uh, this also came with a back backing here this is actually in its own sleeve and it actually had, just had a couple of um double stick tape on it back and you stuck uh, you just stick this on here this has two pockets that you can go ahead and maybe put your uh put a cutter in here uh, you can put a lighter in here or something else and it has this mesh bag up here which i go ahead and i use a bovina pack or if you want to put something else uh, up there you can uh, the only thing I would caution you with is if you're putting a cutter or a lighter in here, if it's kind of a thick one, uh, if you have uh, two stacks of smokes here, it might kind of hinder you closing it, and I'll show you that. But this was really nice because I wanted to go ahead and check out the features and see um, what this all entails. So what this actually comes with, first of all, it does come with a set of keys. These keys actually have your serial number on it, too, so whenever you go ahead and register this thing. And your keys, what they are for, is for this little mechanism here in the front. Now, what this is, let me see if I can go ahead and open it since I don't have any uh, nails here. What this is, is it gives you a couple of opportunities to um, kind of do some fail safing with this. I know I can get this open. There we go. Uh, first of all, it does have a lock here that is used for the keys. Now the keys will only unlock it, it won't lock it. So if you forget your code, or you don't have any biometrics done, if you have that, you can unlock it with this. I'm not quite sure if that's an actually a barrel lock or not, because these aren't like barrel keys, but there is a mechanism that you can set to make this an anti-pick thing, if somebody has a way of picking it. At the top, you have a micro, a little micro USB connection here also. It's not USB-C, uh, but what this is, is a micro USB connection, and you can plug a micro USB cord in, which is not included, and you can provide power to this if your battery dies out. So if you get a micro USB key, um, or a cable, I should say, plug it in here and plug it into a power source, you'll be able to provide power to open this thing up. So that's kind of a real nice thing to have with that, okay? So again, inside here, and also if you notice, whenever you first open it, you have a light here that'll pop on. This comes on for about 30 seconds from like the first time you open it, so you can see what's in here. But like I mentioned, this actually does have um, it does have room for eight cigars. What I would suggest you do, first off, when you get this, 
is take this module and you need to season it. So whenever you season a travel humidor, typically people will go ahead and just wipe it down with a brand new sponge with distilled water and let it sit overnight or uh, maybe two days, three days. What I would suggest you do with this is do it right, because if you're going to spend the kind of money on something like this, you want to do this right. So what I recommend that you do is get a Boveda humidor bag. And these are like 12 or 14 bucks on Amazon. And uh, all you have to do is open this thing up. You slide this whole entire thing inside here and get yourself an 84% Humi pack. Seal this thing up and don't touch it for two weeks. Let it sit for two weeks. I know that might be tough for some people, but you know what? Do this the right way. Let this season for two weeks, and after the two-week period, you can go ahead and take this thing out, and then you can go ahead and uh, use it, okay? So season that for two weeks. You should also do that if you happen to have one of them desktop humidors. Put an 84% Bovida pack in those um, in your personal humidor for every 25 count that it holds. So if you have a 100 count humidor, put four of those 84% and let it sit for two weeks. What I would recommend that you do if you happen to have smokes in your humidors, put them in Tupperware with like a 75% Bovida pack, set, put it in Tupperware and seal that up. It'll be fine for two weeks. Tupperware I think is one of the best things to seal in humidity and to have for any, any of your overstock. So what I wanted to show you with this is what some of these little extra, excuse me, extra features do, does here. So when you close this, you actually have two latches here that you'll go ahead and seal this thing up. And this thing really does seal in the humidity. Um, I promise you that. It's, it's crazy. And you do have this little lock. So once you program your code, you can tap on this lock and it'll go ahead and lock this thing up. And you'll hear a little slide in here. Okay. Now, if you want, you can do one or the other or even both. You can go ahead and use a numeric uh, keypad, or you can use a biometric. The biometric, what that does is it allows you to store up to, I think, about 20 fingerprints. So you put your finger on that. If it bleeps red, that means you weren't on there just right. But once you get it right on there, it'll unlock for you. Then you undo these latches, and then you can open it. Whenever you want to program this thing, here is a program button that is up to, off to the front right here that you can do for both your keypad and also for the biometric, okay? Uh, it'll accept a, a digit code from four to eight uh, numbers long, depending on which way you want to do it. And the biometric, like I said, can do up to about 20 different fingerprint scans. So that's kind of a real nice thing to have with this, okay? What this also comes with is it comes with a security cable. Now, this security cable can be used um, for whatever purpose that you want, such as maybe if you have this in your car, you can actually loop this through the security cable, wrap this around like the bottom of a seat and uh, put the security cable through here. And this other end slides slides in either on this side or it slides in on this side. And then you can close this thing up and you can tether this to your car seat or if maybe if you're uh, on the road somewhere and you're going to a hotel, you can tether this to a um, uh, piece of furniture or something like that. So this comes with it. Uh, one of the other things that you can get with this, uh, should have it around here, uh, is actually you can get a uh, carry handle with this thing. Uh, the carry handle does not come with it. It's a very, very small handle, and it's about, like I think it's something like 12 bucks or something like that. But what this carry handle does is you can actually put one end, um, one end in here and the other end on this side. And then when you close that, now you have a carry handle if you want that. Okay. So that's kind of a nice little thing, too, if you want to have something like that. Um so the carry handle is an accessory. I think it's like 12 bucks or something like that uh, that you can get also from vault -Tec. It does not come with that. Um, so whenever you go ahead and 
season this thing, you can go ahead and start putting some of your sticks in. And these will accommodate, this is about seven inches long. So uh, what you can do is you can, I think up to like Churchill size, but you can just lay your sticks in here. And like I said, this accommodates um, uh, eight of them on the bottom. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and stack about seven more on top if you put them just like right in between. Uh, of course, it's going to depend on uh, your ring gauges also, if you have uh, very big sticks or whichever. And then you can just go ahead and use this strap and Velcro it and, and seal those in here. Like I said, what you got to uh, keep in mind is that, you know, if you have these stacked double, if you happen to have a lighter or something in here, this may not close all the way if it's, you know, a thick lighter and you have this double stacked. Uh, but if you don't, this will be no problem closing this. You got to seal this thing up. And whenever you want to lock it, just tap this lock and it seals up for you. Okay. So that'll keep your smokes in there real nice and humid. And like I said, this really does lock in the humidity. And um, it's really, really good for that. Now, what this also has is this also has, uh, this particular model has a Bluetooth uh, option also. Take the smokes out of here for a second. Uh, this does have a Bluetooth option also. And that Bluetooth can be turned on once you put the battery in from here. If you want to turn it off, you can. Uh, to conserve the battery, but I like to leave the Bluetooth on because I like to kind of check the humidity levels and so forth whenever I get the option. So if you want to check the, if you want to go ahead and use the Bluetooth option, which is of course one of the reasons why I bought it, there is an app called the vault Tech Life Pod app. Okay. Now once you go ahead and install this, it'll ask you to turn your Bluetooth on, and this will actually show you what your humidity level is. It'll also show you your battery and it also shows you your temperature. Now, whenever you first get this app, uh, one of the things you can do is go to your uh, select humidor and you can choose a name for your humidor. <laughs> like I use my own, my own name here. Uh, but also in the settings here, when you go into the settings, uh, here's again, or you change the name from here. Uh, this other one says change presets and these presets that it has here, is for if you're storing tobacco or if you're storing herbal medicine or something customized, uh, you can choose whatever that is. Of course, I have tobacco on here, okay? Then it gives you this screen as to whether or not you want the alerts or the audible alerts turned on. What the audible alerts will do is the humidor itself will send off an alert if the humidity is too low or too high or the temperature is too low or too high. So if I go ahead and say yes, you hear how that beeps here? It's because my humidity level is very, very low. It's actually set at 50, and I have it set at, uh, I want it to be like around 72. I would like it to be around that area. If you don't want this to alert you, you can actually turn those alerts off here at the bottom. Uh, this is the humidity one, and it's the temperature one. The other one is for the battery to alert you when the battery is getting low. And like I said, the alerts do not come through your phone. They come from the unit itself. Okay, so keep that in mind, those alarms, and you can turn those uh, off if you want to. Now, the other big thing here is the calibrating the humidity. Now, I've seen a couple of videos where people said, oh, you just type in what you want it to be and be done with it. Uh, but as far as calibration is concerned, if you've ever calibrated a hygrometer before, uh, some of you may have seen these little uh, one-step calibration kits uh, from Bovida that you put your hygrometer in here for about 24 hours. Uh, with a 75% pack in it. And after the 24 hours, that hygrometer should read 75%. And if your hygrometer doesn't say that, then you can adjust the back of it. What I would recommend that you do with this, this is actually telling me that my humidor uh, is at 50. And the correct humidity should be. Now, this value in here is something that you can type in. Now, what I did with mine was I went ahead and I took a digital, just a plain old, uh, you can get like a four pack of these for like eight bucks on Amazon. I put a digital hygrometer in here and I took a 75% Bovida pack and I went ahead and slipped this in the top here. 
And I went ahead and closed this up and sealed this up for 24 hours. After that 24 hours, I went ahead and opened this up and I checked the humidity gauge on here. Mine that I did yesterday said 70%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say that the correct humidification should be 70%. So I'm going to go ahead and gauge that with what I got from my um, my overnight uh, settings here. And I'm going to set that at 70%. Okay. And I'm going to hit, hit OK. And it'll tell me your humidity readings and thresholds have been uh altered so once i am finished with this and i hit done okay it's going to go ahead and adjust that offset so right now it's saying that my humidor is at 67 percent with that offset in here because i had an offset of what, what was it 50 to this, uh, uh, 52 or something like that or 72 i think i put in or 70 from from 50 to 70 so my offset i want this to try to be as accurate as possible okay so calibrate this first for 24 hours. Like I said, use a digital digital hygrometer, throw it in here, throw a bovina pack in here, or if you want to throw it on the bottom, you can or whatever. Let it sit for about 24 hours. You want to go a couple days, you can, um, but you want to try and see what the reading is on here. Whatever this reading is here, that's what you're going to input in here to calibrate the offset on here, okay? Now, if I'm doing that wrong, somebody please let me know. But I, I don't think you can just really pick and choose your own number uh, based on what you want this to regulate uh, because you actually do have to put a Humi pack in here and this doesn't have any, you know, any uh, other kind of um, um, uh, humidifier or anything like that. So, so what that will do is it'll go ahead and calibrate that. And once you go ahead and calibrate it, it will let you know uh, what your current humidity level is. It should be in the optimal green range. If it's too high in the red or too low in the blue, it'll go ahead and alert you if you have the alerts turned on, okay? Uh, if you don't have the alerts turned on, then it's just going to be a matter of checking this uh, with your Bluetooth. So it's a nice app. Um, and like I said, it, it can be really, really helpful for um, keeping track of your humidity. Like I said, it also has the battery, tells you the battery level also, so if you need to change that. So once you go ahead and um, do all this stuff, um, you're good to go. And like I said, the uh, the program button, which is here, uh, you hold that in for, uh, you tap that once and you'll see these numbers light up and it'll ask you to input a code and then you input in a code again and then um, you'll be good with the code. Uh, for the biometrics, you gotta be pretty quick with it. You'll actually end up, doing about four different um, four different angles, excuse me, angles of your fingerprint uh, so that this way if you're off a wheel a little bit, you know, it'll go ahead and be able to take it. So like I said, one of the things I liked was like I just got the strap and I go ahead and put my strap in here and uh, I can carry this thing wherever I want to go. And um, that's it. So... Very, very nice humidor. However, it is expensive. So question is, do you justify the price? This particular model, the 2.0 with the biometrics and the security was about $340. So obviously I had to charge it, um, but uh, is it worth it? That's going to be up to you. I mean, I like gadgety stuff. I like Bluetooth stuff. I like biometric stuff. And it does hold 15 sticks. Uh, so that's one of the things that I liked about it. Now, if you don't want to be carrying this around, like, you know, out in the open here, one of the other things that is also on vault is you can actually get a tactical bag. Uh, tactical bag, this actually comes in the sandstone color. It also comes in, I think, camo or black or something. Uh, this is made uh, for the vault -Tec. Now, what this actually has in here is it does have a an upper compartment that you can go ahead and maybe, I usually put my keys in here uh, for the vault -Tec. And I usually maybe put, um, I'll put maybe a couple lighters in here. So I have a couple lighters. If one dies out, I have a spare. Uh, so you can use that for that. Uh, this actually has a little bit of a mesh front little pocket here if you want to put something in here. The bottom compartment, you can actually open that up also. And this actually has a little uh, a little safety, little safety lock here that you can put on a on one of the zippers so that someone can't unzip this real fast. Uh, but you have a pocket here, and you also have a couple little uh, pockets 
uh, maybe for if you have a, a lighter, you can put inside these pockets here um, or whatever kind of things that you might have that will fit. Okay. Uh, I like that because maybe if I want to go ahead and put a flask in there, I can take a flask with me um, or something else to that effect. Now, the main central pocket here, if you open up the main central one, uh, this is where you're going to go ahead and put your, uh, your humidor in here. So by taking this, I can go ahead and just slide this in here and close this up, and, it's, and it sits in there real nice. What's also nice about this tactical bag is it actually also comes with a lock, if I can find it. There's a little zipper compartment up here on top, too. Maybe you might want to put your keys or something in there. Uh, but this actually has a lock, and I'm trying to see where I put the lock at. This actually comes with a lock that you can go ahead and put your own uh, combination on here, and you can uh, tether it through. Um, there's a multitude of places you can go ahead and tether this through that. Go ahead and lock this bag up if you're not around it. Uh, you can go through the uh, little holes here if you want or something to that effect. So it does come with this lock also, which is kind of a nice thing to have. But I got the bag because it was, I thought it was a nice bag. And it does have a lot of compartments for different things. Um, like I said, I maybe want to put my keys in here instead so I don't lose those. Uh, this little zipper bag here. So it's a nice tactical bag. It also comes with, of course, this shoulder strap. It also has another strap that's attached to it. If you want to drape it across your body instead of just your shoulder, you can do that. It also has this other compartment on the back here. Uh, if you want to go ahead and maybe slide a tablet in here. You're on a road, go ahead and slide a tablet in here, and you have all your stuff. So that's the tactical bag. And like I said, it comes in a couple different colors. I got the sandstone one. And also the humidor itself, the vault -Tec humidor itself, does also come in black. So uh, maybe that might be something uh, that you're interested in. Nice, nice humidor. Very durable. It floats. Uh, and it's water, it's airtight, watertight. Uh, I, I don't think you could submerge it more than like a foot, but it does float. Um, nice humidor. The only thing is, do you want to justify the price? Uh, things that might um, not want you to get this is just because, you know, maybe your sticks are too, you smoke the bigger sticks, and I do too sometimes. Uh, maybe it's just not worth having all that security and everything but that's up to you but like i said what i what you could also use this for is uh just a, a regular safe if you want so if i'm on the road or something like this whether i have my sticks in here or not i could put maybe my wallet my credit cards or anything else or if i decide to put my gun in here i can put my gun in here and um and i can go ahead and lock this thing up in my car or wherever i'm at i can go ahead and tether this using the lock um and use it for my guns. So that's also another option uh, if you want to. So the price again is up to you. Uh, I like it, uh, but I'm a big fanatic of humidors and I'm also a very big fanatic of anything that has gadgets in it. So this again is the LifePod 2.0 version of the vault uh travel humidor. And like I said, um, it really does the job and it really does lock in the humidity. So this might be something if you're interested and getting uh, to act as both your uh, cigar humidor as well as a safe. Uh, happy smoking, everyone, and I hope that you um, like this video, and uh, let me know if you have any comments or any questions, and I'll be happy to answer them for you.